All right, we're here with Kyle from Super 7 in front of this year's showstopper at San Diego Comic-Con, uh, the Cat's Lair. Just put it, look at it for scale. Like, it's just, you have to go all the way back here. Here, go ahead. I'm a, I'm a pretty big dude, and I have a pretty big head. But, I mean, look at this. Like, I'm, I am dwarfed by the epic size of this incredible Cat's Lair here. Um, so. Yeah, so I guess, you know, walk us through... Walk us through what uh, anyone can expect to get, or at least what you want to show off, because this is a prototype, right? Yes, it is a prototype. Uh, since you were saying, what can we expect to get? Yeah. Figures not included. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, these are these are my figures from my shelf that I brought. Oh, from really? Home. <laughs> nice, nice. So I decided to put them in there. So it's, perfect. You, they look great. They're doing just, great. Just to show how you can display yours <laughs> here in the cat's lair. So, uh, 36 and a half inches tall. 53 inches wide with the doors open yeah. and then uh, there's actually a little bit and of an it, optical illusion happening it's wider when the doors are open and sh but when it closes it's thicker in the back well, yeah I, I talk about that because it, it the depth yeah. to it like the width is but the depth is huge as well the depth is huge as well it's it's more or less a three foot cube but at the same time for people who were trying to be shelf conscious yes uh, you can remove the paws, oh. so that like I mean it's not as nice looking, of course. Sure. But obviously your your average shelf is like 12 to 16 inches yep. de like deep. It'll fit on that with the paws off. Yeah. Um, but we're trying but, to but just be is, conscious of this that. This is like a floor piece or a table. This is a floor or table piece. <laughs> Probably, but that's for you to decide. My my recommendation this whole weekend has just to been knock down your whole house and just rebuild around this. It's going to be a lot easier, I think, for everyone. So. Um, I think it's brilliant how you expanded the playset by adding the, the fold-out uh, yes. uh, mountain pieces. Like, walk me through that design choice. Yes, of course. So, there's obviously several rooms in the Cat's Lair, and so we wanted yeah. to try and catch capture the most important ones. Yeah. So, there's their great hall where they do their meetings and they decide that what they want from DoorDash here with their <laughs> awesome dinette set from Crate and Barrel. Um, but then there's some really fun things like the com command center here with all of the control consoles. Our batteries are dying, so you can't yeah, it was really see it. On preview now. Yeah, the panel is super bright LEDs, yeah. so you'll be able to, you can see that. You'll actually be able to pull out the yeah, images that and the, switch that out. Yeah. Same with the battle pods as yes, well. Yes, yeah, I saw that in the um, on the <coughs> website. Is that super easy to swap out? Yeah, it's you can see it actually. It's just kind of a little oh, tab. A little you just tab, pull that yeah. up. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. So oh, that one's awesome. really really fun. I really love that. Um, then you kind of have the the grand foyer, <laughs> as they call it in France here, with the oh I'm so sorry guys, with uh, with the Thundercats logo and the doors, and then uh, you have uh, the sword chamber here where you can store your claw shield and your sword of omens, but there's that little disc right above the uh, the archway. Yeah. You spin that, the whole thing twists. There's a there's three options. There's the sword of omens chamber, there's a closed door, and then on the other side, there's an armory where you can put Tigra's whip, Panthro's nunchucks, oh, and Chitara's cool. staff. That's awesome. <laughs> And I can see they have access to, you know, exit. Yeah, you'll be able to exit. Just so you know, the like the mechanisms you see in there are just for the prototype because okay. it's so heavy and resin. Yeah. We had to invent a new system that would be hardy enough to hold oh. how heavy those paws are. <laughs> so that that is not final. That'll be ratchet joints. It'll be really nice, much easier. Yeah. I love all the little hidden space in there. Yeah, cool. really fun. Um, and uh, no Thunder Tank can fit through that. No <laughs> Thunder Tank oh, can fit through that. Did you check the vintage one yet? I didn't. I don't okay. have one. I'm not cool like oh, you. I'm so, sorry. you know, my bad. But this is my favorite section because I'm a, I'm a huge Panthro fan. You know, the Donnie of the Thundercats here. I guess Tiger is a little bit Donnie too, but Panthro's Garage, where he gets to work on stuff, work on the Thunder Tank, make the all, all the awesome vehicles and weapons and stuff that they do. Uh, and he's... Com no garage is not is complete without the pegboard to put your your uh, your tools up there. All of those tools are included. And if you look, there's a little blank space there to put your sammo flange from your thunder tank if you bought the thunder tank. What? The, yeah. No, that's awesome. So not included. Some of those early images had. A yes, sammo the sammo flange, sammo flange not included. There you go. Uh, and this is one of the tiers, right? This or is one, one of the, of the tiers. tiers. This is Tigra's laboratory, which will be one piece in the uh, the. I think that's an Erlenmeyer flash, the big one with the mm -hmm. little handle yeah. coming out that uh, that'll be removable awesome. so this is an early early prototype and it's unpainted just to kind of show people that differentiate that this is not included this is yeah. an unlock 
Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited about that one too because I think that prop specifically has a lot of oh yeah uh, a lot of potential for other toy lines as well. They're yep. in, a, in a similar scale, but you should buy it for your Thundercats. Of Absolutely, course. yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, coming back around here. I love the, the metallic paint. Is that going to be there on the final? Yeah, so we're going to send this directly to the factory and they're going to try and match it as much as they can. That's awesome. Yes. Um, and then the lights glow and the then lights will, will light up. The okay. eyes, sorry, the lights will light up. Of course they will. Oh my gosh. It's early, it's, folks. It's Saturday. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Day five. Yeah, for me. exactly. The eyes will light up. The chest logo will light up. And then the that back panel and the LED will light up. Another thing that you're not there's a couple other things on this front that you're not seeing. Yeah. The two the two blue rectangles on the uh, the shoulders yes. will open up and there's got, there's posable cannons in there. Oh, cool. Uh, and then right behind Lionel, there's a little trap door that you can open up and it shows the Thundrillium core or Thundranium. I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> the core the core of the cat slayer is in there and it's yeah. painted and sculpted and fully reliefed and. Oh, that's cool. All that, and uh, just because I want everyone on the internet to know that I do know my Thundercats. Uh, I know. Well, actually, I know that. I know, no, that that's not even it. I do know. So you can see this awesome turret yes. underneath the paw here. Yes. yes. And uh, it will come with two turrets. Yeah. It'll fit under both of the paws. And everyone on the internet who's watching it right now go is going, "Hey, why is Linkso using that? He's blind. I know that. I'm trying to be funny." <laughs> So it's a joke. Yeah, you have to have fun while you're setting these things up. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no, this looks amazing. Oh, the the bat. So this is battery powered. The LEDs. Yes. Right now it's just a it's a makeshift. It's, sure. all, it's all smoke and mirrors, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> so. But uh, will there be an option to like have a USB charge and batteries? Will it be like. Double A batteries or, or I, is that still I think it's going to be batteries just because okay. we have to seat it inside of the head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. To connect to everything. Yeah. Okay. So I mean that's a good option though. That's something to think about. If you want to hear, if you want, if any any, if there's any electricians who have suggestions for us on how to light this thing, leave a comment in Jay's video and we'll Perfect. I'll read them all. How's that? Well, I like the um, the Hot Toys DeLorean had batteries or a, a USB. Right. Uh, right. Which was nice. Which was mm -hmm. nice. But I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Batteries are good too. That's right. <laughs> and then I keep forgetting to say this because it's hard to see oh, them I in didn't there. Notice the but ledges. yeah, see, uh, there's ledges on either side yeah. for added play value, so you can put oh. your Thundercats up there. We chose the the one guy who's the same color as the rocks <laughs> to put him on the rocks for some reason. Sorry, guys. That's the first time I've noticed that I've walked around this thing a hundred times. Um, well, that's cool. Yeah. See, that's where I think this thing really doubles as a display shelf, really. So Absolutely. It's we, furniture. We try it's... not to just take up space for no reason. <laughs> so, um, No, this looks great. Now, I, I really excited. Uh, uh, where can people go to, to back if uh, they want this beautiful, go beautiful... to You can go to super7.com right now. Yeah. Uh, it is a crowdfund. We need to hit 3,000 units yeah. to even make it. Yeah. But the more people back it, you get even more cool stuff like Tiger's Lab or Astral Projection Lionel. Ooh, so cool. And if it funds or if it if we get to three thousand backers before July thirtieth, you get a replica key to Thundera. Which is cool. Life size, not yeah. like a little mini one. Like it's yeah. gonna be like four or five inches long yeah. with a real leather strap. It's gonna be super cool. So don't miss out on getting your key to Thundera. You know, if you back back stuff early, it only makes the product cooler, guys. Yep. Yeah, no, I agree. So July 30th, early bird, and then when's the last, last, last day? Uh, 60 days from Wednesday, so okay. someone do that math for me. <laughs> I'll put it I'll put it in the description. Exactly, <laughs> perfect. All right, cool. All right, Kyle, what else do you want to look at? Oh, man, do you want to go check out the Silverhawks, too? Yeah. Let's go do that. Let's, let's take a, a tour here. Yay, Marvel, so <laughs> exciting, hilarious, amazing. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I love <laughs> Spider-Man so much. <laughs> So, pardon me. Let's see here. So, in these cases, we have some of the exclusives that we have available, along with some of our reactions, some of our Universal Monster soapies. Love the soapies. Super fun. Yeah. Hip hop and music up here. And then our big reveal in this case is Silverhawks Wave 4 toy yes. recolors. So Monstar in the red, just like the vintage toy, but you're not even looking at that. We're going uh, straight to the back metal. I know, ooh, shiny <laughs> objects right here. It's, I mean, the second house, I was like, That's right. there it is. That's, That's what we right. wanted. Every day I'm reminded that humans and crows are not so different. <laughs> so oh, yes, man. vac metal. We find, you asked for it, we finally figured out how to do it. 
It was, it, you know, it was a long time coming. Yeah. We'd been trying to figure it out since people asked us for it. Yeah. And now it's here. They look amazing. We're so excited. Mm -hmm. um, it's, they will have, you know, more or less the same functionality, but you will have to treat them a little bit nicer just so yeah. they don't flake as much. Yeah. That's an inevitable part of it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, the so, drawback. You know. Because I saw some people, like, you know, sad comments on the internet. Oh, uh, where's the music? Oh, look, look at the, you know, it's already rubbing. Um, I mean, they'll be posable, right? Like They will be posable. Okay, okay. You can bend the arms. We just, you know, to really invoke that vintage toy feel, <laughs> you put the arms up. You yeah, know? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's fun to me that people noticed that the arms are already flaking off yeah. and not the fact that both of their shoulders are assembled backwards. So oh, thank damn. you. Thank you, Internet. I appreciate you. I like this sleight of hand that we've pulled <laughs> to not notice it. Um, but no, they look great. They look great. The, they, look will, good, they, they will be. Now. They will be assembled correctly. Oh, just so fine, you know, sorry. we uh, will. They will be assembled correctly when they get to you. Perfect. These are just the very first samples <laughs> that we have, and we were so excited that we wanted to show you as soon as possible. Yeah, they look so, great. They look great. Thank you. The, the face paint, everything looks fantastic. Yeah. How about how? Look how clean that Silverhawks logo is on the chest. I know. That's like you know vintage Kenner level, right? There. Oh yeah. That nah, looks great. Super fun. These, these, I was like, these look nice. They're not, they're not silvery. Now they're silvery. There they are. We need That's them. Right. Okay, uh, they're okay. Here. I, I, I didn't okay. listen. I didn't follow you. I tried. I tried. <laughs> so these guys are also toy recolors. Monster yep. was bright red, and he's going to have a new head based on that vintage toy right there. Awesome. Get in there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> And then Buzzsaw in green. I know Pixel Dan is very excited about this one. <laughs> this is one of his old favorites, and he'll also have a new head invoking nice. that vintage toy. Nice. Yeah, I feel like this is one that just shows up in toy collections. It's one of those ones, you oh, have a yeah. bin of 80s toys, this guy's there. For sure. He was very popular. And he kind of looks like Titanium Man a little bit to yeah, me, yeah. so I can see how he might fight some other guys. And then uh, some new Thundercats here. Yeah, so we got, I mean, we had renders, you showed renders of these. Yeah, these are available now. Yeah. Super7.com. These are the first outputs of Wave 9 of Thundercats, which are looking really, really great. I love Chilla's cape. Love how it drapes on her, it looks really yeah. nice. Um, and then this is the first time you're doing, like, if you order from Super 7, you get exclusive Correct, the Super Packs, yeah. yes. The Super Packs are exclusive so is to that us. What, is that what's right down here? Um, or no? Uh, or there's just the alternate heads you get? It's just the alternate heads okay, that come okay. with it, but then okay. the other, those Super Pack heads are repaints of yeah. the other heads as well. Nice, so, that's awesome. Uh, poor uh, Wiley Kid oh, no. is taking a little cat nap, unfortunately. <laughs> it's hard, but I mean, standing out here all day. It's very hot in here today. <laughs> So um, I totally understand. And I think these were these first were these taken orders last Comic Con or yeah, I'm to this is Wave now. Seven. Yeah. So it's been a little bit, but these are the first Deco samples that we're seeing, and so they're on track to come to your house very very soon. Nice. Uh, you know, I mean, Snarf. How are you not excited about a, having a Snarf? I'm finally? very excited. Very yeah. excited. I, you know, as much as I need a Snarf, I also <laughs> need Mongor real real bad. You know, big heavy metal guy. Oh yeah, and then the Ghost Jaga yeah, as Ghost well. Jaga. He looks great. That, he does. Those, that's the actual plastic. He's clear. Oh, so that's, that's what we'll get. Yeah. Well, there's a few close. things to tweak, but okay. it's very close. Nice. Very, very close. But look at that Mongor again. Look how metal that guy is. Yeah. Look at that. It's that just is... Thundercats. Look at that Satan. alternate heads. Look yeah. At that. Incredible. With effect pieces that uh, snap on, you can put it on both heads. Uh, yeah. He's he's so cool. Yeah. I, awesome. I want him real bad. Very excited for him. Awesome. All right. All right. Uh, you said there was stuff on there that side. Is All right, stuff. cool. Let's, Let's go. go. One more, one more case, everybody. Here we go. Harness. Thank you. Harness. Okay. So we'll go, we'll go left to right here. Okay. So not, not necessarily any new stuff, yeah. but just showing yeah. off what we've done, the, the, the breadth of work that we have mm -hmm. in the GI Joe line. So. A lot of fan favorites up top, and then those are our exclusives. The G.I. Joe International. Really, really fun. Lady J. I haven't, I haven't made Snickers. it over there yet. I gotta get oh, over yeah, there. you gotta go, man. It's really cool. You dig it the most. Uh, <laughs> And then the five pack from last year, and then the this set. How's this one doing over there? Good, man. Yeah. It's it's pretty crazy to be able to sell a five pack of GI Joes without GI Joes in it. So really, really pumped about that. And then the Python and the Tiger Tiger Force are just going super well. Really, really fun. Just crazy repaints. Lots of cool stuff. Um, but then in here we have a little bit more interesting things that I think you'll be stoked on. 
So this is our big kind of secret reveal for the show. Mm -hmm. Misfits 5.5 vintage Amazing. figures. Vintage style figures. Yeah. Love, <laughs> love you're doing that classic 5.5. Yeah. So the uh, that's the, the perfect one. For the these first guys. three, those are plastic. They're gonna be arriving probably late late this year. Oh wow! Okay. So they're ready to go. And then uh, awesome. Sam Hain and Danzig up there are we're working on them still a little bit. There's a few tweaks to be made, mm -hmm. but they're they're on track to keep coming real soon as well. Nice. So that's a, a real real cool one for me because. Day one at Super 7 when I started almost yeah. five years ago, that's the very first thing I ever worked on. Oh, really? The very first thing I ever drew for Super 7 were those guys. Oh, and cool. They're finally coming out, so very exciting about that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Congrats. And then uh, to the right of those guys, yeah, you get eight. Wave 8. Uh, everyone but Robot Rocksteady here is production. Oh, cool. Okay, awesome. So that's what your Genghis is going to look like. Yeah, that's that's what your Shredder is going to look like. Your Rocksteady is going to have uh, the light piping head. The, for some reason, there was just a little bit of mis miscommunication on okay. the paint. He doesn't need yeah. that, like, I don't know, little beanie on top of his orange <laughs> hair. So that's going to get fixed. Okay, cool. And then uh, Space Cadet Raph. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, Every, everybody's awesome. favorites from the vintage toy line. Yep. Look how clear that dome is. I realize I'm a little bit high on my own supply <laughs> here. But I really am proud of how Crystal that turned clear. out. Crystal. That's right. You can see the whites of his eyes <laughs> through the dome. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, and, and then oh, the party wagon. Yeah. Now in f salsa fiesta flavoring. <laughs> Comic Con exclusive as, next year. <laughs> yeah. As if. No. These are the uh, these are the test shots. Or this is the test shot yeah. of the party wagon. So we we retooled the entire thing, and so now it's it's ready to start getting into paint and stuff. But we're still on track. For, so what uh, was some of the retooling that you did uh, compared to the earlier? Just some prototypes. thickening of walls and tolerances. Okay, There's cool. just a lot of little things that yeah. ultimately no one ever gets to see because yeah. it's really not that interesting. <laughs> I know that everyone's like, oh, I wish they would just tell us. It's like, you'd be so bored. You wouldn't even care. Well, even but, uh, I talk, like the, the new pizza fire van or whatever from the new movie. Right. It. The, that's my one critique is the walls are really thin and you uh, close the door it's like does it kind of warp yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay interesting um, so it's cool that this is getting reinforced it's gonna be nice and yeah super sturdy it's sturdy. real heavy nice. rubber wheels spinning pizza rims that's sick yeah uh, I love I love this little I in the in the what the foot tenderizer is what yes. it's called yes I love this little like booster seat action <laughs> that's coming on which is why Again, I'm just trying to be fun, have fun over here, be yeah. funny, guys. That's why I put the toughest turtle in, like, the baby seat position. <laughs> will, will the seatbelt be purple? Uh, no, seatbelt will not be purple. Oh, seatbelt will be black with silver painted buckles. Nice try. Gotcha journalism over here. <laughs> um, the, uh, the vintage one, this mechanism here. It was spring-loaded. Well, it's spring-loaded, but it would, it would dry out and break really easily. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you've thought about that in terms of engineering. And if stuff. you look at it, it's basically, it's double walled. Yeah. Pretty much the same way. Uh, the rest of the van is. Yeah. That uh, that vintage one was just one exactly. ABS kind of shell. Yeah. So and someone asked me if it was spring loaded, and I was like, "Do you want to die? Because <laughs> if that was spring loaded, you would just fling people across the room. It would be not safe for anybody. It wouldn't pass any safety testing at all. So it is consumer operated for your safety. Oh man. Um, no, yeah. it's it's looking now, good. I'm now excited. Jay, let me ask you a question. Yes. What do you think about my posing of the turtles in this in this case? Um. So, Leo's... Oh my god, the butt's already here. Well, no, I'm just, <laughs> you know, this, I, I don't know. That's the only one I would, I would critique. But everybody else looks great. Everybody okay, else well, it's no great. secret that I'm no fan of Leo, so... I know. Does anybody like Leo? Man, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but they look we just, we just demonetized that whole video. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Simpsons. Yeah, Simpsons. Just showing off what we can do here. Wave one. Shipping, it's, it's out now. Yeah, it so is. You can yeah. get it now from yeah. all of our awesome retail partners yeah. or scan the QR code if you're here at San Diego Comic Con. Right there. Yeah. Scan it on your TV. That's right. <laughs> and then, same with the reaction figures here, just kind of showing off our, our the breadth of our work. Oh, nice. There we go. Looking good. Yeah. <laughs> can I get in here? Oh, yeah. Part Sorry, guys. Oh, all right, guys. And then, my, my pride and joy over here, Toho. So in order here, we're kind of we're kind of breaking yeah, it up way, a little this way, bit. This so this way, so well, left to right. This is America, left to right. Uh, Godzilla, 1989, Wave One, shipping now. Some of you already probably have it. Really, really excited about that one. That's the box back there. Looks great. One of those iconic suits of the 90s. Yeah. And then right next to him is Wave Two, Mechagodzilla. He is pretty close to production. He's not 
Uh, there's a few things I want to tweak because I'm a perfectionist, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, but he's pretty dang close. Look at those real metal wires for the tasers that you get. Yeah, that's sick. Super fun. Plus the backpack and all that cool stuff. And then right next to him is his partner in the wave, Burning Godzilla. My favorite version of Godzilla. Oh, really? Oh, yes, wow. Burning Godzilla. He's on. He's on fire. What do you? <laughs> come on. What do you? How is he? How do you make Godzilla cooler? That's what true. if he was on fire? <laughs> So and like translucent. That's right, translucent spikes back there. Yeah. He looks real good. The uh, there's a bit of like a, a translucency to the smoke effects as well. Yeah. So those oh, will be yeah. able to catch light too oh, cool. in your toy photography. He's also close to production. There's a few things I want to tweak. Okay. Like you know, let's get those teeth individually painted. That yep. kind of stuff. I yep. you know I realize that there's been some complaints about the first wave. So mm -hmm. want everybody to know that we are listening. We're trying to cool. course correct. So that one's gonna have individually painted teeth. Nice. Uh, and he'll be ready to go it's gonna be very exciting and then Biolante from wave one who's also available now and shipping to people uh, I love this piece it's a very character that almost gets no representation in any line so we need more female kaijus Amen. in the line Amen. that's right that's right so that's wave one and two and then down here you get the test shots of wave three oh, the 1200 degree Celsius Godzilla where he's, you know, burning alive and he dies at the end of 1995. Such a sad moment, but look how cool that figure is. So fun. Uh, I love these, like, test shot colorways. I call this the blue cheese Godzilla. <laughs> Do you save some of those just because, like... No, cool. all of that has to go back to the office, uh, and then, you know, okay. if we're good, sometimes it gets redistributed back to us, you know. Okay. But I'm sorry, Flynn. No, it, he's very <laughs> kind with the test shots. He's doing great. Uh, and then look at that Destroya. Just insanity. Look how big that thing is. I, I, weighed, I weighed it. I think it's 2.2 pounds. Well, that will be production, 2.2 pounds? Yeah, that's plastic, bud. Damn. <laughs> He's a thick boy. He's a thick, <laughs> thick crab Satan, yes. <laughs> and then debuting here at Comic-Con is Toho Wave 4 with Mogura from Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla with the, uh, the flight, head, flight head, the open hands that shoot the missiles, and uh, then his counterpart in the wave, everyone's favorite, Space Godzilla. Tail is long, like basically a third longer than a normal Godzilla's wow, tail. Yeah. He'll have, all, he'll come with all of those crystals, all those hands, and uh, in injected translucent plastic. He's gonna glow. It's gonna be, or not glow in the dark. He's gonna catch light really well. It's yeah. gonna be really great. And then these two heads with the beams. That is what we were. Call that's the super pack for us. So if you order directly oh, okay. from Super Seven, yep. you get the heads with the beams. Oh dang! Okay. For a truly, com for a truly awesome figure. Yeah. It's really, really fun. So, I, uh, yeah, I'm a, they look great. And then, and, uh, uh, I'm seeing individually painted teeth here. Is that like correct? What that one will yeah, look like exactly. Like yeah, cool. it'll look pretty similar to the Godzilla next to it here, yeah. where it's Comic you know Con. kind of a wash that brings them out. So yeah. this is our exclusive Godzilla to Comic Con, the Art Adams 1995 <laughs> iconic comic book run, the the figure that made me the artist I am today. <laughs> yes, yes. Now in action figure form. So I we're very that. very excited about this. Did I see? I was walking by. Did I see you taking a picture with Art Adams. Okay, cool. You did. Awesome. I. It was what a classy guy. So nice. I gave him a figure and he asked me to sign it for him. Oh, that's awesome. And I about cried in front of my hero. What's up, man? Uh, oh, hey, Jordan. How's it going? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And then down here is a smattering of our reaction offerings, as well. The two exclusives for the show are the Glow Ghidorah and the Glow Hedera yeah. back there. I'm not sure why we put them back there, but that's okay. Yeah, I put them front and center. That's right. I know. <laughs> it's all right. And then right below that is our own brand of the worst and the weirdest. The weirdest is so much fun. Yeah. With these guys. I, I love them. I I find myself relating to Trash Squatch a little bit more than usual, <laughs> I think, this weekend. By Saturday at Comic-Con, that's how yeah, it's we all we're all trash squatches. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are awesome. Um, oh. All right. <laughs> I'm is glad. Everything? It is everything. I'm okay. glad that I. I'm glad that I had the microphone right next to your head for that. Like, <laughs> get up. Uh, I'll edit that out. Yeah, that won't be yeah, there. Yeah, in yeah. Post. Um, but yeah, no, this is amazing, amazing stuff. Any final thoughts that you want to share with everybody? No, man. Thank you for coming out here. Thank you for supporting us, and thank you for the amazing feedback we've gotten on the Cat Slayer. I'm, I'm excited about All it. You know, you're excited about yeah. it. We are listening. Yeah. Keep those comments coming. We want to make it the best Cats, you know, Thundercats piece ever. Yeah. yeah. So let's keep it going. All right. Awesome. Yeah.
Thanks, Kyle. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.